edition of the Celebration News. Boy, it's getting, we're getting there. You're right. We had a great show yeah, last night. Yeah, we did night. have a good show. Well, they had a good show yesterday morning. Yeah. They had a lot of horses. I had different people. I had a lady call me from West Virginia, and she talked about it. Uh, uh, Claude Mason, you remember him? Yeah. Years mm -hmm. ago. Well, uh, Heidi <laughs> called me, and we talked for a while. She was saying she wasn't going to get to come this year. But uh, we, we had a long conversation, talked about everybody. <laughs> so if years were burning, it was Heidi talking about you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I was just as bad. I was just as bad. But you, you, you need to do your thing, I guess. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> You're getting better at that, Jerry. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jake Jacobs asks for your support as he rides for the roses on Brain Power in the amateur counter class at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Allie Jo Jacobs is heading in the 84th Walking Horse Celebration where she asked for your support in the Youth Country Pleasure Division seated on the first night out. Allie Jo will then be showing her riding skills in the Youth 11 and Under Equitation Division aboard A.T. Grant. Allie Jo and friends ask for your support during this year's celebration. Every year, thousands of people come together in Shelbyville, Tennessee to celebrate the greatest horse in the world by naming world champions and world grand champion Tennessee walking horses in multiple divisions. Join us this year for the 84th annual Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration featuring 198 classes starting August 24th and continuing through September 3rd when the world grand champion Tennessee walking horse will be crowned. Contact the celebration today at 931 68 and reserve your seats and come out and enjoy five days and ten nights for the best of the best Tennessee walking horses competing for top honors. Watch for me and Pocahontas as she competes in both open and amateur championship classes with Tyler Bauckham in open and Allison Armstrong and Allison Bicknell in the amateur division. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, go down to the winner's circle and tell them what a horse sent you. 
please stand and cheer for the team of I Am Uno and Jake Jacobs in the Amateur Park Performance Division of the 2022 Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. As a five-star rated bank with locations in Bedford and Moore counties, First Community Bank has been the bank of choice for over 30 years for both families and businesses. Customers openly place their faith in the leadership of the bank that provides multiple services, each designed to provide solutions for the needs of every customer. Services like online banking, bill pay, and mobile banking are just a couple of examples. When asked what customers like best about First Community Bank, they answered the hometown hospitality and the support they show for community. Community-minded and customer-minded, the solution to all your needs is a short ride or simple phone call away. Take that first step toward a community-minded bank. Call 931-684-5800 or stop by one of their locations today. First Community Bank, a community leader. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Jerry, all in all, the, the everything that's going on in the showgrounds, pe people are all over the place. Oh, yeah, it is. And I ride through there, and, and there's a lot of action going on. Uh, I, I can't, there's still a real high expectation of what's coming. And I know the, the government showed up last night. And some classes were light, but some classes were packed. Yes. And there was a lot of great horses in oh, there. Yeah, so a lot of good horses. I just, uh, and, and I really have no problem with, with the government. As long as they do their job according yes. to the HPA, I don't think anybody can complain as long as they do that. But uh, I'm just knocking on wood. I hope it stays that way. Yes. Because uh, I, I, it, it's great when a lot of horses are in there. Yeah. And there was some uh, Ali Joe Jacobs boy. She was on the money last night. Oh yeah, night. horse was real but good. I seen some last night that I was really, really thrilled with. Uh, Marty McFly was awesome. Yes. Uh, the Heisman. What more could you ask for? Uh, and I'm gonna tell you, I love the two-year-old mare class. Josh Watts. Now that that's a, that Jim that's a, a girl. Tell you, that's a real filly right there. That that filly can flat walk, yeah. and that she's won an open and amateur mm -hmm. competition. Carol Baxter can yes. ride that filly, and th then Justin Legate showed a great two-year-old walk yes. the lamb. Who uh -huh. would ever thought of that? I know walk the lamb, but walk the lamb. Yeah, he must get a twist of lamb in his chin. <laughs> That's about right. right. Uh, well, what is Alan Jackson says? It's five o'clock somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Justin got to twist the yeah. lamb. But uh, all in all, the whole night, it's just class after class, great horses yes, coming in. There's real good horses in there. El, El Nino, uh, Black. What, what's that? How does he say that? <laughs> the dressed in black, Jake Jacobs. He, he just that horse is unbelievable. And, and he, he didn't win the class, but he made a great show. So, but I'm going to tell you, that four year class had some good horses. Yes, in there. they did. They I mean, class it, night. I mean, it, it was real good. It was really good. So, the thing about it, everybody is happy. Uh, I seen the little man that went on Ebony Road. Boy, he, he was, he, he was, he, he yeah. was into it. Mm -hmm. I offered him some of my shavings because he was trying to whittle. Yeah. His, his knife was just dull. <laughs> yeah, I believe his mother hits a rock with it yeah. and dulls it up so he don't cut himself. Yeah. But uh, all in all, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to say I'm, I'm enjoying it. Talked to a lot of good people. Uh, what, what more can you ask? Oh, you all right? Mm -hmm. that that I mean, pony class was a good class. Oh, oh, oh man. Dark you, Rain. Dark Rain was <laughs> he a, come in you. stroking and he never let no, up. He just yeah. kept getting it. He was a good so, from top to finish, when you go through it, and I know I'm missing some that I saw because I saw so good, so, so many good ones. It just, uh, uh, I know I mentioned Marty McFly. You know the thing about Marty McFly, Janice, the way she rides, yes, makes you look at that horse no matter what because she, it's just a elegant way of riding a horse and and looks good. So, top to bottom, hey. The, the well, I tell you what, Jen, she can give a lot of riding lessons to a lot of to a lot of trainers. I mean, she can ride a horse now. She's, I don't think she has time for that. She's she's a good rider. <laughs> oh I mean, yeah, I'm she's a good she, rider. She's a super rider. I tell you something that uh, we've been showing videos places, but on the showgrounds, 
the BFW, that is the place. I ate a BLT there yesterday morning. Uh -huh. One of the best BLTs I've eaten and I don't know when. I mean, it was, bacon was great. And, and they didn't use this iceberg lettuce. They, they used that real good lettuce. Oh, that's a good uh, place to eat. Hey, it's a, they got a little bit of everything. If you're country like I am, little pinto beans and cornbread goes a long way. Well, I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to wait till after Saturday after I get through showing, <laughs> and then I'm going to eat a whole bunch of it. Right now, I'm just trying to fit in my riding suit. You'd be like an old friend of mine. He said, he said, <laughs> He went on the diet and he lost 100 pounds. I said, what'd you do after you lost 100 pounds? He said, I ate a Shetland pony. That's right. <laughs> he got hungry. But there's one other thing. We got, I'm still working on Richard's jewelry, getting rid of it. But we got a ring that is outstanding, the beautiful. I keep looking, I'm afraid I'm going to end up buying it. And I don't need to buy it. <laughs> I, need to, I need to sell it for her and, and let it go. Because I, I like my little one. But that right there's got a heck of a price. That, she has marked down all of her jewelry. She, she wants to get rid of it. She's not going to go back out on the road. So since Richard's gone, yeah. she just says, let it go. Get, get people to look at it. And, let her rip. Well, Jerry, ain't no sense that, you know, you might want to buy it and you, that'd be a good Christmas present for me. You think so? Yeah, that'd be. <laughs> <laughs> I got someone at home who says I better buy her something like that first. <laughs> I tell you, there's one other thing. Everybody keeps talking about Tennessee walk, walking horse versatility. I put sci-fi, which everybody's seen sci-fi, but we I've got him in boot camp out here. And I want you to watch these guys they don't just go out there and get on their back and try to get them to do it. They walk them through this stuff. Yeah. And and I think that's good. Justin and Jackson, they, they their last name's Todd. And uh, they just, the way that they work with these horses and fool with them, they get them used to stuff. And, and it's just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm just amazed at what they can accomplish in a short time. But uh, they've got him doing the, oh, yeah. the teeter-totter. They got him walking up and standing up there. They've, they've got him doing things that are uh, just fantastic. I know we can shoot off that horse. Uh, we've used that blow-up doll or whatever yes. it is that, that yeah. flops him in the face and all that. But uh, the things they're teaching him, is the obstacles, and to me, that's that's a great, a great competition to be in. Yeah. It's the obstacle course competition. Well, he's a beautiful horse, and I'll tell you. Well, he he's huge. They they talk about how smart he is, and well, you know that. Oh yeah, he's a very smart mm -hmm. horse. He's very smart. As uh, Jeremy has said, you point him, and he'll go. Yeah. He'll he'll end up doing it. He just uh, beautiful. I'm going to get him to start shooting off of him, riding and shooting, because yeah. I think he'd do great in that, that shooting, shooting competition. They're uh -huh. going to have that up at oh, the yeah. Cal Sonic. So we got all kinds of stuff going on. We got a little bit of everything. We got great classes going on. We got victory pass. I want to remind everybody, every time you run a victory pass, it will go for the entire celebration. It'll start from the ones yesterday and last night we got today, they will run for the rest of the week. And that you'll see by the end of the week, our show will be an hour and a half long rather than an hour long, and it'll be full of victory yeah. passes. Because mm -hmm. then you want them, we will turn around and send you a link because we upload every bit of them to YouTube to where you can share that link. This Christmas, when you're sitting around, say, hey, let me show you how I won the World Grand, Grand Championship. You're exactly right. Or how I won a World Championship. <laughs> that, to me, and I go back and look at them all the time, the expressions on some people's faces when they win. Oh, yeah. One of them I'll always remember was Bruce McDonald's wife when she won her first World Grand Championship. I mean, that lady, that smile was just amazing, yeah. and, and Virginia Stewart was the same way. Mm -hmm. And I remember that. Heidi, when she won, it was pouring down rain, but you could still see that smile. Yeah. <laughs> it was lit up, and I mean, it was coming down on her. So 
th these are moments that, that uh, you, you cherish. Oh, yeah. you, you create these memories, and then years from now, you can go back and click and watch that video. It goes a long way. Oh, yeah, it does. Making you feel like winning the World Championship. Well, it makes you miss the past. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I, I try not to ever look at anything I did in the past because it just <laughs> makes me miss it. it I understand. I know we used to during the uh, celebration just about every night there was a band someplace. Mm -hmm. We'd find a barn someplace oh, and yeah. set up a band. I mean, just a party and then get up the next morning, go to the barn, go out to the showgrounds. I cannot do that anymore. I oh, do, I understand. I do good to get up here. <laughs> and, it, and that ain't easy, Jerry. I'm going to tell you, that ain't easy. Getting out of that bed, I look and I say, well, you know, I could call and just tell them I ain't coming today. <laughs> let, let everybody go. I wonder how many out there is watching this morning saying that they're in bed watching. Yeah. I know one year Amy Lee was in the bed watching. Watch, uh, yeah. and she she mm -hmm. was talking about, I just stay in the bed watching and go back to sleep. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Tell you what, let's see what we got here. We got the yesterday morning classes, which they, they had some great classes yesterday morning. But there was one that... Uh, a gentleman from here in Tullahoma, reserve, but hey, the horse looked great. The whole, I mean, the whole thing, it's just, if, if you watch many of the morning classes. I see some, I'm at the barn riding in the mornings. No, I knew that. Mm -hmm. Some of these classes, you look out there and the lineup is wrapped clean around one of the ends of the arena. Yeah. You know, and there's people all over the place hollering, yelling, and it, it, it's just unbelievable. It's the number of horses that are in these morning classes, and then you go out to the bricks, they're out there all the time. Yeah. Uh, Jerry, I'm just, I'm impressed with what's going on. Oh, it's One thing I want to remind everybody, tomorrow, Saturday, starting at four o'clock, there will be a band set up next to the VFW. That band is Flat River. And we're going to show a little clip in the morning of Flat River doing a, a music video with the Gatlin Brothers. Okay. These guys are something else. If, if they wasn't, the Gatlin Brothers would never be in there with them. But I'm here to tell you, it's a way to go. Here we go. This is from day one. <laughs> This was GG's Majestic and LC Bradford for William Bradford, owner amateur English pleasure winner. First time I saw that young lady, I thought she was about 12 years old, wanted her to come be on the show. She said, I'm not a child. <laughs> I tell you, that's a nice little horse right there. Shakes, walk all over. Hey, gets it done, that's what she yeah. does. Gets it done. There's, there's I be smoking in Joel Johnson for Tanner and Tucker Johnson. Can't beat that, buddy. No. I kid them all the time about one of them barring the kids' horses so they can go show. But one of the one of the boys, one of the brothers, has has hurt his arm. I seen him with a cast on. Okay. Right there is Riley Get Gregory and the family jewels. You know, that is, was a great performance. Oh, yes. Really good horse. And now, it's in the auxiliary equitation for the youth. That's the most amazing thing about this breed of horse. You got different divisions, you can always put them in. Yep. I mean, you can have them. Performance, pleasure, oh, equitation. I mean, you can take these horses, take one horse and do all different kinds of things. You, you can find something for every one of them. And look here, Charlene and Robert Nims. Till and Marshman. Robert, Robert is the coat man. Yeah, he is. I he mean, he is the coat. 
very good with him. He does good with the model. I know he he plays he was reserved in a model class, but uh, he, you can't ever count him out. I mean, he does a fantastic job. Right here is Hey Charlene and Amanda Manis. Now, buddy, that's amateur owned and trained. Yeah. That's what saddle time will get you. Yeah. I like it, man. Wonder what will happen if you run out there and holler, Hey Charlene, how many people <laughs> turn around? Country pleasure owner, amateur trained. It's a beautiful horse right there, buddy. I mean beautiful. He'll be back. I uh, like a saw and horse with a black man tail like yep. that. Right here, T. Martin. I, I like his name. Teal Washburn and Pittman. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see him on the saddle. Yeah. I mean, he just got motion. The way he moves. He just keeps on winning. Stallions. Toon took the blue and back in the saddle again and Robert Nims was reserved for Till and Pittman and then Godspeed, Allison Thorson Newman was third. But I'm gonna tell you, I like them all. But that, back in the saddle, I, I really like that horse, but I, I love that color. Yeah. But Laurie Toon does a great job of showing yeah, horses. Does. Now she does. horses to me there's something special yeah it, it, I know that my old buddy Jeff Gibbons that's one of his main things he, he was great at it Robert's super good at it to enjoy this if, if you don't enjoy looking at good horses and and that's the main thing you yes. gotta you got to enjoy looking at good horses yeah right here's your light shot five and under
This was a good class here. Two Gun LLC and Patrick Thomas took the blue in this class here. The Mexican Mafia and Ryan Gannon for Kendall and Amy Mays of Tullahoma. That's what I like. Tullahoma's in there, buddy. Deals for Real and Jonathan Baskin. Sweet Country. Laurie Toon. Jose's Charlie Boy. Brandon Ashire. Johnny Was. Chris Zan. The Venners. The Venners. I th I'm not sure how I'd ever pronounce that. And Sammy Tyra. That finished out the ribbons in that class. But I was real impressed with the Mexican Mafia. Yeah. And Ryan Gannon. Now, I'll admit, I live in Tullahoma, so see that Tullahoma name down there, that, that just tickles me to death. That is a class, buddy. You know, they're, they're having pretty good classes. They had a bunch of kids in there yesterday morning, but they, these classes, there's quite a few people in the stands watching yeah. the morning classes. Sometimes I wish I, all the horses I was showing in celebration, I just moved over to celebration for them two weeks so you better watch some of the classes in the morning and, <laughs> yeah, that's it. and be there all the time. You, you can run out there when you got to ride one, you go ride one, then when you there's class in there you want to watch, you run in there and watch it. Run in there and watch it. Well, I remember when all the horses stayed on showgrounds and buddy during the day, but you'd be over there at night and someone would holler, so-and-so's on the hill. That was before they built the Cal Sonic. Yeah, uh -huh. We'd be running up there getting on there. There's your winner. But right there was the man of the hour, the Mexican Mafia, and Ryan Gannon. Nice horse, real nice horse. For Amy Mays. Oh, Ryan does a good job with the horse. Right? Oh, yeah. But now he had it right up there. I'm, I'm tickled to death to see that. Amy must took that horse over herself, though, because her, her husband's name ain't on the papers, evidently. <laughs> I don't blame you. A good horse like that, I can't right. myself, too. All day pleasure. Amateur owned and trained. Hugo and Allison Thorson Newman took the blue in this class, privileged. And Maggie Moore was reserved. I'm Charlie Dickens at Manda Manis, a wicked bond, Whitley Green. Limelight and Roses, Gatlin Winstead. Blue Gin Delight, Jenny Tyner. Spirits Pushy, Jackie Dean. Justin Charlotte, Philip Gillum. And Jose Loco. Delaney Parsons. And I'm Manhattan Larry Coates finished out the ribbons. Showing. Oh yeah. These horses are pretty nice horses. Say that these people is not professional trainers that that's riding these horses themselves. Uh, I've talked to some that some trainers that have said that they needed to check and see how many years they had to be out of training before they could be an amateur again. Yeah. 
and we got a bunch of amateur trainers that could very well be. Yeah, horse trainers. Well, yeah. Kenny Smith. Yeah. There you. Mm -hmm. I mean, shoot, Steve Hawker Smith. Steve Hawker Smith doesn't show anymore, but I guarantee you he'd go out and train a horse today. Yeah. That's a real pleasure to ride right there. I like this class. Ring full of good, ring full of horses. That's what right I mean. It, it, they were circled all the way yeah. around out there. There was your winner. Yep. Right here's all day pleasure. This is your owner amateur two year old country pleasure. This was a good one. He's off the wall and Phil Donovan took the blue in this class for Phil and Holly Donovan. Skip the line, Kimberly Walden for Kimberly and Perry Walden. There's two good ones. Must be whiskey, Rachel Teague, Teague and Matthews. Lined up at the border, Sarah Smith, Langley and Smith. Bo Bonjour and Frank. I'm not sure how. M I M. <laughs> Phil Dexter. Devilicious. Cindy Holt. Queen of Hearts. Jared Carrier. Supernatural. Carolina Caraway. And Jose's Belinda. Where do they come up with these names? I don't know. I think people rhyme names, so I think they're trying to put letters together to come up with something. They try to create a new word. Yeah. I'm going to have to talk to Sherry Paul and find out what this says. That might be a California name right there. Jose's. Thank you, back now to the platform, please. Balin Figa. I don't know. I'm from the country. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, there he is. He's off the wall and Phil Donovan. I love that color. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty horse, boy. Sure is. Now that's that that's one that you go out yeah, and ride, ride all, all day. day long. Just say hey. Yeah. This is have amazing. fun. Hey, just enjoy that's yourself. Right. Yeah, Let you're it go. Exactly right. All right, we're gonna have to go to commercial. You do it. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. It's better and better. <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks you to support the team of Jake Jacobs and Grayton Beach as they compete for top honors during the 84th celebration in the amateur four-year-old division. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaise Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the amateur four-year-old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both amateur and open show pleasure divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both open and amateur divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented black stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. Agenda Win is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. Stand and cheer for Team Allison Armstrong and Twisted with Honors as they strive for the championship honors and the roses to prove it in the amateur division. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. J&J Stables asks for your support by saying yes to Sir and Jeremy Jenson in the two-year-old stallion division during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse Celebration. Say yes to Sir. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Six-time world champion in the amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dowell at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to maneuver myself. You know, we talked about yesterday about calling Rob Brainerd if you needed a building or anything. Yeah. Let's give his phone number and let everybody just give him a holler. It's 931-205-0722. Call him and tell him that I told, told you to give him a shout and that he need to give you a major discount. That's right. We'll freak him out. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're outside now. We're out there in the big ring. 
first night of the big ring out there. Hey, there's big Ronnie Spears. That's who I put my first horse in training with, Ronnie Spears. I may be wrong, and you might have that too, about back in your time. Here. Didn't he win a world championship with a mare? He might have won on a mare, but he didn't win the world grand championship on a mare. Here's your owner amateur elite gentleman stallions. And I'm gonna tell you, I love that horse right there. Oh yeah. I'll tell anybody that. I just, to me, that's a special horse, very special. And Bruce showed him, believe me. He's the, the Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald. You know, this tell you a lot about this breed right there, that, that horse right there. That horse is 15 years old yep. and still winning world championships. He's classic all the you way. Know. And he was in there with some great horses. I mean, some good horses. He's in there with Maroon 5, Cash Agenda. Oh, Jimbo looked good on that one, too. Yes. Jose's Premier, Jose's Thunderstruck. Baron Witherspoon, and I tell you what, I thought he, I thought that horse looked good that last night. That horse made night. a good show. Baron uh, made a real good illegal show. Illegal Jose, Sammy Tyra. But I'm gonna tell you, top to bottom, Mr. Heisman, they named him right. Oh yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But I mean, this horse here is 15 years old, and a lot of them horses in there, four or five, six years old. Now horses. he's over 15. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's done past that classic horse age. Matter of fact, I wonder if he's going to show him. There's Witherspoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, Baron, your horse looked great, baby. Baron, your horse looked real good. He looks better and better all the time. Yeah. But this breed of horse can 15 years old, 16 years old, and still he competing. That's all that matters. All the time. A lot of other breeds, you know, after five, six years old, they, they done. Right there he is, Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald for Bruce and Robin McDonald, all amateur elite gentleman stallions. That's a nice horse. Done. Right here, owner amateur pony stallions. I'm telling you, you can back up, but when dark rain come in, I, I tell you. Hey, I thought dark rain was it now. Now to me, I watched a lot of these class and it's just my opinion. I thought he about one of the best horses I've seen. Hey, he looked great, didn't he? Nah, he looked outstanding. Yeah. I mean outstanding. Dark Rain took the blue. Strike was reserve. Dreamcatcher was third. Chaotic, Ashley Case. Lucidor, Bowie Williams. I'm just kidding, Rhonda Majors. Sweet Shady, Rose Ansett, or Sunset Shady, I'm sorry. Rose Ansett, it's a jazzy thing, Melissa Mitchell, and the great Gatsby. Mike Scott finished out the ribbon. But I'm gonna tell you, to me, Dark Rain had it. Yeah, he's nice. Look at that. Yeah. Tell you what. Taylor can get it done. Yes. They had a bunch of good horses in this class. Yes, sure did. Good horses in this class.
There wasn't nothing wrong with any of them. No. They, I mean, they all look good. They all look good. But that to me, good. dark rain is just, I mean, there's something special about the way he goes. There it is, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters for Molly Walters' family on her amateur pony. There ain't nothing wrong with that right there, buddy. Looking good. Real good. And I tell you, the thing about that horse is he come in the ring doing that and he leave out doing the same it. thing. He does. I mean, it ain't like he fades or whatever. No. I mean, he's, he just keeps going. He keeps going. I love consistency. Me too. And that right, right there is about as consistent as you can get. Now, right here, this, this, is, this is it. Jimbers yeah. Country Girl, I know a lot of people are going to say, now, Jerry, but I've seen that horse show multiple times in amateur and open competition, and by far, I believe he's one of the best I have seen, and there's some good two-year-old fillies out yeah. there. But this one right here, it just, I don't know what it is about him, it's just something special about him, or about her. That, that is a good filly, that's a good filly. Just Josh does a good job. Well, she, she comes in doing that, and she leaves doing that. Yeah. And right here, this is another one. Walk the line. That's supposed to be walk the line. But that, that right, Justin Harney? Yeah. Hey, he made a fantastic show. Yeah. And he was in there with a ton of real good horses. Real good. Justin doesn't show that often, but he's, he's getting back in it. He's getting back in it. <laughs> right here, gentlemen, owner, amateur youth, 6 to 11, show pleasure. Everybody got behind that oh, young yeah. lady. She made a good, she made a real good show. Oh, yeah. Allie Joe Jacobs. I'm Coach Cal, and Allie Joe Jacobs took the blue. Benelli, Jason Kamak was reserved. Watched the line. Jacqueline Garner, well-armed American. Reese Abernathy in ruby lipstick. Gracie Jean Ware finished out the ribbons. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you, Allie came to get it done, and she did. And he, he's a world oh, champion. Yeah. 2018, 2013, both. Mm -hmm. And now he's another world champion. There she is. Good deal, Alley Joe. Right here is Marty McFly. That's a good horse. She makes a horse look good, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she really does. She makes a horse look good. Well, I mean, you can see how she sets up, and she brings that horse back to her. Yeah. So she's going to that horse. I mean, she sit back and let him do his thing. She just, that's one thing about it when she, you talk about being 
elegant on a horse. Yes. That's Janet Foster. She is. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, you can put them all out there, and I'll put her up against it. I'll put her up against a lot of training. Oh, yeah. That's so right. That's I mean, just the way it is. All right. I believe we've got to, uh, you got to do your job. It's time to go to messages. It's time to go to messages. You just keep changing it. This, we, change we're we're going to take a commercial break. break. Yeah. We're going to take <laughs> The Jake Jacobs family asks for your support for R.M. Kellett as he glides Mr. True Blue toward the championship honors in the four-year-old counter division at the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. I can reach one, so uh, get your cattle off from here, sit in yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, yo! So, Jimmy, there's your black stud goat by I am, three time world grand champion of the world. I am Jose, is his daddy. There's opportunity. The bid, 27. Where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. When you get down to it, done. So, so, you got it, 2600, 2600 here, and then 56 and a half. 5600. Go ahead and let that 506. So, 5500. You bought a 5500. And so, left 100 car call. Take a call. Left 100. You bought. So, so, so. You break one. Break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right that said, is the so, so, so. You bought it. He's back and ready to wear the roses, so Allison Armstrong asks you to stand and cheer as Tyler Balkum guides old Troubadour towards another World Grand Championship. Allie Jo Jacobs asks for your support when she enters the 84th celebration with her performance horses in the 11 and under division seeking top honors with Cole Hahn. Aljo Jacobs will then be aboard her World Grand Champion. I'm Coach Cal in the second 11 and under class. Aljo will be entering the 11 and under pony division aboard Da Haas. And once again, ask for your support. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horse horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. Watch El Hombre in Black as he carries Jake Jacobs in his quest to wear the roses in the four-year-old amateur stallion class during the 84th Tennessee Walking Horse National Celebration. More of What a Horse coming up. All right, we got one more class to go. Yes, and it's a, it's a good one. It is <laughs> last class of the night. Owner Amateur Western Park Pleasure. Buddy, this this was this oh, yes, was it. Nice class, yeah. Yes, it was. It was a real nice class. Yeah, real good class. Ann Evans took the blue in this class for Evans and Lachlan. Papacino. And Karen Bean was reserved. Titleist Masterpiece, Blake Carmack. I talk the talk, Carol Misseldine. Arm but kidding, Sister Milligan. I'm Dixie Blue, Kara Graham. And I'm Mr. Blue's Curtis Thompson finished out the ribbons.
very nice, nice horse. Uh, yes, it very is. Nice horse. Real nice horse. And I tell you, you was talking about earlier about the smiles on a person's well, face, and this girl here had the biggest <laughs> smile on her face when she come out of that ring. Hey, tickled her to death. They tickled her to death. Tell you what, she can, she can ride a horse. She's yeah. a good rider. She's in there with some people, good riders on horses. Karen Bean? Yes, yeah, she's a good yeah, rider. She can ride. Carol Missile down. Yeah. I mean, she can get it done. It, it tickles me when you see one that, when they win one like that, and, and they're that happy. Yeah, I mean, see, she, see, I mean she, she's just beside herself. She had to be, that's, and I was right at the gate when she came out. That's when it really, really means something. Yeah. It really means something. Oh, yeah, there's my little boy. She's getting a high five mm -hmm. going around. <laughs> That's what the celebration is all about. Yes, it when, is. When they're that happy and thrilled that they that they won, then that's when it to me that that's what really really matters. It really does. It does. It just, I, I mean, makes everybody just tickle to death. They're happy. Parents are happy. Fans are happy. Yep. But when when you look at the expression on the rider's face when they won one. And, and it's just uh, it's just something something else. Something else. Really, something about it there. I watched. I talked. I'm not going to mention her name, but I talked to her after her daughter won. She said, "You know, she's won a couple of them. You think I wouldn't cry on this one?" <laughs> but <laughs> she it just it when you, when you get out there in that competition, and I can understand it not from riding, but from different sporting. When when you win something, it really oh it, it, hey. It's like you then a big relief off of you after it's over and you won oh, yeah. something and you worked hard and you know. Well, when you work for something and, and these people do, I want to remind everybody uh, in the morning we will have a little bit of Flat River Band to show everybody what's coming tomorrow afternoon at the Celebration Grounds right next to the VFW. These guys are, if you've never heard them, you need to come out and listen to them for two hours. They're going to play. And believe me, they play some fantastic country music. I mean, they, they, they just get it all. Bluegrass, they can cover it and they can flat. But you just have, the harmony is unbelievable. I might wear my dancing shoes tomorrow then. Well, well you can get out there and dance with somebody. Yeah. <laughs> right now, <laughs> we're going to have to say goodbye to everybody, but we will see you on the showgrounds. And we'll see everybody again in the morning at 7 o'clock. Good luck tonight, everybody. Good luck. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, uh, please start talking.